Hello and welcome to another Powerwell TV. Today I'd like to introduce to you two new machines, uh, a 405 and a 505, both water-cooled, synergically controlled. Today we're going to focus on just on the 405 to start with. So if we have a look at the wire feeder, we've got control of synergic, manual, and we have a help menu. Simple, just by highlighting which either one that you want. So, as an example, we'll go to MIG Synergic, 2T40 trigger function for your torch, go for 2T, steel, stainless steel, aluminium, flux cord gasless, select whichever material, we'll go for steel, a selection of gases, mixture of CO2 and argon, and CO2, we'll go for mixed gas. Selection of your welding wire, we'll go for one millimeter. And material thickness. So you can select your material thickness accordingly. And once you've got the right thickness, select. And it gives you what the computer thinks, the welding machine thinks, where you need to be synergically controlled. Now, if we go one step back, to the main menu, just press and hold. Go back to the main menu. Let's go for MIG manual. Go to MIG man, press, 2T function again. And then straight away we go to the display. And this is where you have manual control of wire feed speed and voltage control independently. And then you also have an inductance setting at the bottom there if you're on short circuit dip transfer. Going back to the main screen, we can also, instead of using the center dial, we can go and step by step, go back to the main screen there by using that arrow key there. Another function on the display is we have a help menu. And in the help menu, we have gas flow, MIG burn back, factory reset, cooling control, the version of a series of machine, spare parts and languages. So we highlight gas flow. It comes with the preset flow and postset flow set by the factory. MIG burn back control there is exactly how much stick out is allowed to come out of your contact tip after every cycle of welding. And you can see the display there as you move it. It's quite a good graphical display there, giving you a good idea of how much stick out you'll actually have. Go back again. Factory reset is if you want to go back to factory reset, it'll clear your memories with if it's all full or it's getting a little bit confused with things, you can switch it off, go back to factory reset, and it'll go back to its normal factory reset before it left the factory, obviously. So cooling control, gas or water. Obviously, this hasn't got a water uh, cabinet, so we'll go just for gas. The version of the machine, spare parts, whether you want to select machine spare parts and MIG torch spare parts. So if you have a look at machines, we've got a selection of shrouds, contact tips, uh, head assemblies, diffusers and liners. And if we go to the machine, we've got a set of series of rollers from 0.8, one millimeter, 1.2 and 1.6. And then finally, it's gonna be in the English language. On the display also, we also have a, a save button, toggle button to go backwards and forwards from each program, a gas purge and post flow, Press and hold, and you'll get gas coming out. Then also we've got a cold inch feed for your wire feed speed. Okay. Looking down at the power source, which is the inverter type machine, you can tell with the size how small it and compact it really is. We have a um, function button here where it's a you can select your process. So we talked about MIG and Synergic MIG and Manual MIG there. 
but by pressing the other function buttons, we've got Monumental Arc, and we've also got TIG. So when we use the Manual Metal Arc mode, the wire feeder becomes obsolete, also with the TIG. So all we're concentrating on is the two front dials here, and then we have independent control on the power source on the display unit here. And then if you're using manual metal arc, we can use this as a hot start if you use something like a, uh, a 7018 low hydrogen type electrode, uh, which is a little bit difficult for starting. A little bit further down the machine now, we have the two DIN sockets for your uh, earth polarity and connection for your TIG torch. And then another useful function for this uh, piece of machine is we've got a, a nice useful function drawer, which can also be used um, for uh, tools, regulators, spare parts. But if you don't want the tool cabinet, it can convert over to a water cooler. Further down, we have two strong brakes to hold the machine fast on uh, unsteady slopes.